Hey, what's up, guys? It's Big Boogie here, and I'm giving you an actual gameplay this time. Except, uh, host migration uh, screwed up the theater mode, so we're over about halfway done in the game, and uh, I'm on a decent streak. I think I'm at five, and then I end up getting my kill streaks. But yeah, that's one thing I hate. The host migration really screws up with the theory. I mean, that bugs me. I mean, I'd like to record live and such, but the uncompressed videos really they take up my, a lot of my hard drive. But, you know, I, I do want to start doing live commentaries. Ooh, I like that. And, uh, I definitely do want to start live commentaries. And it's going to be weird, because when I'm playing live, or when I'm, even when I'm playing, like, when another person's in the room, I don't really talk to them. But I want to kind of, the same thing when I'm playing music, it's just kind of weird. It feels like it throws me off or something. But I definitely want to, to entertain people. I know a lot of people like the live commentaries. And it gives kind of like an in-game, like a play-by-play, -play, play, I guess. But um, yeah, get my dogs there. And uh, with this game, I want to help you guys out with some tips that seem fairly obvious, but to a lot of people on Xbox, they really aren't. First off, if you're playing, if you know you're going up against good people or a team, or I mean the score right now, we're almost double their domination score. You're obviously doing well. I guess you, you're. It's gonna be a hard game to win, and you should really plug in your headset and really talk to the people on your team and try to get, try to come up with some kind of strategy. Because you, you won't win. You'll die repeatedly, and you really just won't have a fun time. And most people will rage quit. I mean, that's why the host migrated here, which kind of stinks. But so yeah, you know, if you're playing against some, some better people you're gonna have to step up your game up your game to compete I know a lot of people come in here for kills and such and I'm kinda one of them I mean who does I mean look at that that guy was just hanging out there who doesn't like easy kills especially in domination they're going for a point you run over and kill them but but I I, I defend I mean people can give me crap saying oh well you don't play the objective I defend the objective I mean without you can't have all rushers. I mean, that's just an unbalanced team. I like that dog jump right in front of the guy. But you need... See right here, I cap a point. It's my only point all... I cap one point and I defend seven. But you can't have an entire team of rushers or else you're not going to be able to hold the points once you get them. And if you're playing against good guys, then they're going to obviously see that and use it to their advantage. Another thing I noticed... I mean, I do it on constantly on fire range. I know a lot of my good games are on fire range because it seems that people aren't that smart. Like, they're idiots. I usually spend bo most of my time up in tin or the building between B and A. I don't like to run around on this map because there's a lot, a lot of, like, even, I don't know, with every single map in this game, it seems like there's, there's multiple points to an area, which is good because, I mean, campers... They can still camp, but I mean, every point, or almost every point in every map, has two to three ways of getting to it. So I mean, a claymore is not going to suffice, like it, like it did in Modern Warfare 2. But that's the thing. I hang out in those buildings, and I mean, I get two chopper gunners this game and a set of dogs. I, I wanted the other set of dogs, but I was like, ah, I died. Stupid move. But. I mean, people constantly run up behind A, and I'm just hanging out in that building, and, you know, they keep running into my bullets. I mean, coming up this, uh, I, I guess I turned away, but, I, yeah, this is where I usually hang out up here. And, coming up, am I going to look at the path? B, people constantly run out there without checking up here. I mean, this is the big point for B. You're not going to cap it with someone in these outposts and turn around turn around well alright I don't even know if I'm gonna turn around but behind me the little area back there people constantly run up to me and I, sh I shoot them down you figured if you die three or four times in a row that you'll know to maybe throw a grenade get me out of there or you know be more than ready to see my head pop out I mean Chris Smoove described a noob move as doing is doing the same thing over and over again, not learning from it. See, you can do you you can do something stupid and get killed, and yeah, it's like oh stupid. But I mean, if you keep doing that same thing and getting killed, 
why aren't you learning from it? I mean, that's that's a new move. And uh, what was the other point I wanted to come across? Oh, yeah, air support. If you see someone on the other team has a, a chopper gunner or a, a hind or even a cobra. Cobras are kind of pesky. They, I mean, they take two shots to, uh, to take down, which is kind of like, uh, yeah. Pull out your Strella 3 and shoot it down. Do your team a favor. This game, I, I beast with the chopper gunner, and usually it's not one of my strong points. I'm still kind of figuring out how to use it, learning where the bullets actually shoot from it, because, I mean, I, I'm on red. I'm on the red squares for a good for a good amount of my shots, but, I mean, it seems like when it's off the red squares, when I kill people, <laughs> I don't even expect to kill people half the time. I just shoot. Yeah, take out your Strella 3 and shoot it down. You die five times from one chopper gunner. This is my second one this game. You figured they would have pulled out some air support. And the other team has a chopper gunner out. I tend to just run out in the open, die, spawn with a Strella class, maybe take a shot, die again, uh, respawn and shoot it down. Help out your team. Don't assume they all have ghosts on, because most likely, eh, they probably do. But you know, take out the air support. That's a big key to these Call of Duty games. And that, those were just a couple of tips that uh, most people don't really know or follow.